This is the first part in a series of technical performance tests of the Sennheiser 100 G3 wireless system. The first test will be a characterization of the frequency response. This test was conducted by playing a test tone through a USB audio file converter, playing the signal through a shielded cable, connected to a Sennheiser SKP100 G3 plug-on adapter, which transmitted the signal to a Sennheiser EK100 receiver, connected to a Sony D50 digital recorder, and both the player and recorder were operating at 96 kilohertz and 24-bit resolution, giving us an effective test frequency response to at least 40 kilohertz. I conducted this test by generating a frequency sweep and playing it through the system. This sweep was examined using the spectrum analyzer built into Sony SoundForge, and the waveform was recorded for analysis. This is what the waveform looks like, and we see there's a fairly flat frequency response across most of the audible range, with a low frequency response going down to approximately 80 hertz at 3 dB down, and a high frequency response of approximately 18 or 19 kilohertz, 3 dB down at the top of the response. And that comports exactly with Sennheiser's given specification of 80 hertz to 18 kilohertz, but they don't mention uh, the roll-off of the curve at either end, so it appears to be 3 dB down, which is the industry standard. You may be concerned about the frequency response in the lows, and indeed I wouldn't recommend the system for recording bass. However, since this is designed for electronic news gathering, which basically means speech, it's entirely appropriate to roll off the lows at right around 80 hertz because there isn't really any speech down in that low range and all you'd pick up there would be noise and rumble anyway. So they're doing you a favor by rolling off the lows. So to conclude, we have excellent frequency response on the Sennheiser G3 system and I would indeed call this a high fidelity for purposes of speech recording.